By default in Revit, there's a bar right next to the big R, and it's called the Quick Access Toolbar. Now it's called the Quick Access Toolbar because it allows quick access to frequently used commands inside of the program. These commands we're seeing going across the top of the screen are currently showing up as being individual buttons. And if we would click on any of these different buttons, it would automatically execute that particular command. Depending on the resolution of your screen, this bar will continue on across the top of your screen, or you may get a couple of double arrows. If you have the double arrows, select on it like I'm selecting on mine, and you will see the rest of the Quick Access Toolbar. Over at the very right of the Quick Access Toolbar, you'll see a down arrow. This down arrow allows you to be able to do different customizations to this particular toolbar. So if you select on the down arrow, here we can see all the different commands that by default are on the toolbar. And in this case, we're going to remove this command right here, which is the measure command. So simply move down the toolbar and clear the check mark next to the measure. You'll notice that the measure tool no longer shows up on the quick access toolbar. Once again, move over there to the arrow pointing down and let's bring the measure tool back by clicking on the word measure. And we can see that tool is now back on the toolbar. One of the things that a lot of people like to do is add their own commands to the quick access toolbar. After all, the whole purpose behind having it up there is being able to add commands to it so you have quick access to those commands anytime that you need it. In order to be able to add a command, the easiest way is to find it on the ribbon, such as the wall command, right click when you get to that command, and select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. If you look then up at your Quick Access Toolbar, you'll see that command up on the Quick Access Toolbar. It also will have the little down arrow next to it with all the different kinds of wall commands, just like the original wall tool did on the ribbon inside of Revit. If you no longer want to have that tool available to you, move over the top of it again, right click on it, this time inside of the Quick Access Toolbar, and just tell it, remove from Quick Access Toolbar. A few other things that show up though when you do the right click include Add Separator, which adds this line in order to be able to have separation between the commands so that the different commands are easier to find. There's also Customize the Quick Access Toolbar, which brings up a menu structure with these exact same commands that we're seeing with the right click, and we'll do this here in just a moment, as well as Show Quick Access Toolbar Below the Ribbon. You notice that now it's below Revit's ribbon, so that if you're going to be working inside the program, you don't have to go all the way up to the top of the screen to find your commands. You can just move right up to here, select on whichever command you want to be able to execute, and it'll automatically execute it down below. If you want to be able to move it back up again, you go through the same process, except you tell it to show it above the ribbon, and it'll bring it back up to the top of your screen. As far as being able to customize it from a separate menu, come to that down arrow right there, and we're going to see that there's an option to customize the Quick Access Toolbar. This is where all those different commands are available again, except this time it's going to be on this menu. If I wanted to be able to remove something, such as that wall which I never officially got rid of, it can highlight over the Wall tool, and then click on the red X in order to be able to remove it. We could move these around by simply highlighting on the command and then clicking on the arrows, move the commands up, or be able to move the commands down. I'm next going to select OK in order to be able to get myself out of the editing of the QAT or the Quick Access Toolbar. So the Quick Access Toolbar is a quick and easy way to be able to access your different commands inside of Revit.